Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another monthly final breakdown video. We're going to be taking a look at our first game versus Chazmac Gaming and we're going to try to give you as much analysis as possible. So let's hop straight into it. All right, now hopping into the first game. Now, unfortunately, they didn't actually show the draft on uh, screen, but I'm pretty sure the draft went, uh, I believe, Max first pick or it was Janet. I'm not sure. Either they went Janet and then we went Max Bonnie or it was we went Max, they went Janet Colette. I, I'm pretty sure it was they went Janet first, we went Max Bonnie. They went Colette, Pam, and then we went Ruffs, Squeak. I believe that was the order. It's very, pretty hard to tell, but let's hop into this as we're going. Ju Zuan is going to just miss his jump barely, but at the end of the day, not too big of a deal. We're looking like we're getting backed up here, which is unfortunate. And the biggest thing about our comp is that we want to hold control with the Squeak. And so we have to slowly get out of this. And honestly, it's pretty hard as they have Colette, Pam, just taking away our ammo. Colette's going to heal up. Uh, as Livy does hit a nice shot onto Patchy, taking him down, basically. Tyrant's going to go in. I actually trades a kill which was i was i was pretty impressed by that and uh, at this point we're able to kind of break out zuan's gonna get the jump here basically killing chino but that's worth i think in my opinion because that way we are now able to push back up the mid as livy's hitting some shots and uh we have a max speed ready to go as well as we have still some more squeak supers or squeak gadgets excuse me to use to hold the control and uh that's basically what we're playing off we're gonna be playing off the squeak uh, so as as soon as he gets some sort of control and some sort of damage with a super we're able to sort of push up the map now again if you guys know this map especially inside a competitive it is just really not a good competitive map in my opinion it's so hard to score and uh luckily i don't think there's that many overtime games in this series but or maybe there is i don't know we'll have to find out as we go on i kind of forget but we're going through it as uh together here and so either way bonnie's gonna pass up the ball to tyrant and uh, we're trying our best we do get one sort of kill here so at any time now we can try to go for another kill and zuan's gonna do exactly that trades another kill or gets another kill excuse me and we're all three in their spawn now at this point i think is livy just has to throw the squeak gadget onto the right side and that way we can lock that down a little bit better i guess it would have been a waste but soon enough he has to use it it's better now than in overtime especially since there's still some walls up but like i said we're gonna probably go to overtime very hard for any team to score we do get that squeak super off it's unfortunately going to miss it's kind of rng but there is a pattern to it uh but i like to think it's basically rng so they're looking pretty good right now colette has super they're gonna take our ammo and they're gonna score this goal and honestly it was off a nicely timed play uh from them in overtime so we lose the first game let's hop in the next one all right game number two and this difference on this game is we want to hold the control a little bit better early on we don't want the game to get too chaotic because as the more chaotic it gets i think it benefits their comp more just because you know colette and pam do so so well in the spawn trap it's pretty hard to push them out as well as actually janet so zuan's gonna go in get a kill he's gonna try to stay alive but he's gonna get pinched from the two of them tyrant's gonna actually make a pretty nasty play here and gets the goal with the speed so good heads up play from tyrant as well as as livy was actually lagging at that one moment here he fixes his lag now but it wasn't looking good with is livy saying he's lagging in vc but tyrant gets a clutch goal so either way patchy's gonna push up and honestly the pan was a little bit more threatening than i thought it would be it was actually a really good pick uh it just kind of did a lot i didn't think it would be that good into kind of our comp however it worked out in their favor and tyrant's trying his best he's gonna go pretty low i don't know if he actually goes down here but we're trying to get sort of more control going on because again the spawn trap is happening as we speak and then they now they have full control so janet's gonna fly in i think that was a preemptive fly it's not a bad fly because well nothing really happens but he almost goes down as well so and there comes the janet turret now that is so annoying because well we can't heal but luckily is livy was able to reach it and we're able to sort of push out of our zone here or out of our base and uh, again nothing too too much happens on this map i wish i wish it wasn't this map i wish i could cast a different map but that's the end of the day this is still one of those power league or power league slash comp maps that has to be played okay so they have a pam turret now which is and you can see they're just kind of healing up which is kind of annoying it's so much hp to deal with especially with a colette gadget as you can see colette pops the gadget we're trying our best to hold on here so squeak has a gadget there which luckily kind of saves the game for us for a little bit longer we're gonna pop a speed we're gonna try to get out of spawn we're trying to corner peak shots as much as possible because we need to get some sort of kill but look as soon as they go low they heal up they're not panicking they have tons of time to score this so we're gonna bring the ball over to the left chino's actually gonna miss the super zuan trades that kill and uh, as long as we hold this kind of zone here as long as patchy doesn't get the ball towards the net which he doesn't quite get the pass off toast has no way of scoring so we're gonna win that second game barely but we won the second game so let's hop into the next one all right third and final game on backyard i'm pretty sure there's no tie in this so this is the third and final game and uh we do have a early squeak super and we actually have a pretty good start chino almost dies as livy's hitting some shots 
Apache actually goes down. So we have a very good opportunity. Now, unfortunately, Zuan's going to jump in and go down. It kind of like eliminates our push a little bit, which is not the end of the world, but it, it definitely does affect us. We should probably play this a little bit more patient, but I understand the thought process. One person goes down. You really do want to get another kill as soon as possible. And uh, unfortunately, that squeak super does miss on Chino and he survives uh, pretty healthy. And again, we're kind of back to the neutral position, which is so, so annoying uh, because no one really gets kills here unless someone makes a play. Toast is going to go pretty low to his Livy. His Livy gets another squeak super, hits Patchy, and it's starting to make some work here on this left side. He's doing a pretty good job getting them low, but you can see Chino just holding down the right side versus Tyrant and Zuan. It's so hard to push up. Zuan's going to jump in, get a kill, trade a kill, but at the end of the day, we can't do much off of a trade kill just because it is backyard ball. So we're going to have to keep staying in the mid, trying to get that Janet turret out on the left we do have another squeak gadget which i believe is livy will use probably shortly here as soon as he gets some sort of control or a little bit of damage onto toast and uh he does have a super as well and the brawler really to watch is squeak squeak is usually the one or is one of the best last picks on this map and other maps as well because it can really really put some pressure on the other team with the control so as i say that there's the squeak super i like this play from his livy he kind of boxes them in zuan could have possibly jumped we talked about or it was mentioned in vc i don't think he would have scored but the idea was there that if he puts the ball forward there's a possibility of us scoring and uh it was a good attempt it didn't quite work out patchy noticed it and backed up as soon as possible i believe it was patchy but either way we have speed we have bonnie jump with 20 seconds left it's not looking bad for us we need to some get some sort of control right about now tyrant's doing a good job staying alive staying healthy on the right side he's gonna get in a pretty good spot toast goes kind of low as livy does have super it's going to miss unfortunately chino's able to walk up and do so much that one shot from the colette zuan's gonna jump in and unfortunately i don't think it's the right timing and we're gonna lose that game and uh well played from the enemy team well played from chaz mac and we're gonna lose that first set one to zero all right hopping into the next set on shooting star now luckily this is one of the maps we are pretty comfortable now not saying we have the best draft in the world because they do actually have some pretty decent brawlers i believe they lock in a b here and so every single one of their brawlers can actually tank the nanny peep if they do it right which is kind of hard to do but they are all able to so it you know, Nanny's not necessarily, I mean, it's still a great brawler on this map, don't get me wrong, but it's not as good as it was or used to be. So either way, let's hop into this game and show you what I'm talking about. Hopping into the game and you'll also notice, um, this is a pretty common thing uh, as if they have a thrower, you're usually gonna take a Brock or another thrower or some sort of counter to the, the thrower. And so we took Brock, we're gonna break both walls. That means Tick has to play in the open, which gives us a little bit of an advantage, but you'll see soon that Tick obviously moves to the side because there's there's no way that tick is just going to stay mid the entire game so we grab the blue star and i'm telling you right now the blue star on this map is so important in competitive play maybe not in your power league games because kills happen quite often but at the end of the day in in pro play it there's not that many kills that happen on this map. Now, as Livy is going to hit a beautiful nanny head onto Toast, getting us a little bit of a larger lead. Tyrant's slowly charging his super, trying to hit every single shot he can. And at this point, with a 3-0 lead and the blue star, it means they need two kills to make the comeback. And two kills is quite a bit. So as long as we don't get pushed too, too far back in our spawn, we should be totally fine. As Livy's slowly trying to charge another nanny head, which he does have, but he doesn't want to use it just yet because if he does, he obviously knows that Patchy and Chino are going going to push up and put the pressure on him and he doesn't have the tank star power so that way he can't really just use it in the open but as of right now toast does have a 3k putting the pressure on this left side but luckily tyrant has super so as long as so, or as long as we don't all die here and if someone goes low we know that we have to pop a super we have to pop the leon super to try to come back in this game however patchy's gonna go pretty low he does get hit by the big rocket i thought that rocket was gonna hit from zuan it unfortunately doesn't patchy just escapes with his life but it's not the end of the world because tyrant also puts some pressure on uses invis backs them up a little bit is livy also just gonna hit another beautiful peep onto toast and we get a five lead now patchy's jumping in desperately we're gonna be able to trade that kill i believe or close enough actually we're not able to uh yeah we do never mind but as long as Zula, uh, as livy survives in the corner we win the game so very nicely done for everyone on the team and we get the first win of shooting game number two and you can see they easily switched that up they didn't go uh tick on the mid anymore and luckily that is the best trade we could have ever asked for the mid goes down we get a kill on Tapaji and we secure the blue star so like i was saying blue star very very important uh it was quite a bit of stuff used at the start of the game and you can see they were also playing for it as well patchy was 7200 hp trying to grab that blue star we were able to actually kill him which i'm kind of impressed by 
but at this point it is basically back to the stalemate everyone's trying to charge super or get some sort of advantage for the team they basically need you know tick head 3k or a bonnie jump to make a play and we need either Leon Super, uh, Nanny Peep, or, you know, just a bunch of shots from Zuan. So here comes the Nanny Peep. He knows he can't really kill Patchy unless he is low like he is right now. He's going to go for him. Patchy does, I believe, heal up or healed up just before that Peep and was able to survive. So I like the attempt. Didn't quite work out, but at the end of the day, Peeps are pretty hard to get kills with inside of this matchup. So as of right now, back to the stalemate. Everyone's kind of just chilling. Everyone's trying to get their Supers. We have another Peep, but he doesn't want to use it. Like I was saying, if you were backed up like this and you use it he's probably just they're all probably just going to walk up and we're going to die like we need his livy to help shooting uh, otherwise it's just not going to look good for us so he does go into the corner tyrant's going to pop super go in viz he is getting tapped a little bit but we're able oh my god look at this peep from his livy i don't know if toast even saw it coming or what happened there but patchy also goes down with 22 seconds left it is looking really good for us the only person that can't die is his livy so as long as we kind of pinch there beautiful shots from zuan gets a nice kill on the chino and i think that kill basically secures it patchy has to go desperately in. he's trying his best there's no way they get the kills tyrant's last man a lot or tyrant's up the map just stalling for fun at this point and we get the win on shooting start forcing this to a third and crazy set all right hopping into the third set and i'm gonna tell you right now this set was absolutely crazy so many turnarounds so many crazy plays and how the draft went i believe they locked in bell first pick we went piper and fang they and then go daryl and ruffs and i actually really like this ruffs pick i didn't think about it at the time but they locked in all or they banned all throwers so that way we couldn't really do anything to the roughs and uh they just go the heal star power and you'll see that they're gonna wait out most of the game i'm gonna probably skip some of it but we had to lock in a pam here there is other options don't get me wrong but i do think the pam was a, at least a decent option here so let's hop into this game and show you what happened hopping into gold arm now i will be skipping some of it and i i hope you guys do understand there is nothing really that happens most of the time people are just charging super and you can see what cmg are doing on the right side they're just charging heal as much as possible we could have played a little bit more aggressive that was a discussion whether we should or not but we were pretty sure that even then we still have the you know this when the smoke comes in we have a good chance at winning that even if they do charge up their hp as you can see patchy's at basically getting close to 10k hp but we can still win this in the when the smoke comes in so it's soon enough here it will start to come in and as you see it starts right about now so this is when everything gets chaotic people are going to start using gadgets left right and center tyrant's getting trapped in a corner nice stun from him tyrant or Zul is Livy hits a beautiful shot before going down is zulon takes patchy's ammo which is the right target and he hits the full clip onto toast to win the 1v2 so well played to zulon in that instance and uh, at this point we decided to switch sides because they were charging on this side we don't want to let them charge for free if possible however their comp is actually pretty good at just like contesting this 1v1 area as you can see right now they're doing a decent job they're still charging the hp and uh we almost get a kill onto chino so zuan's gonna use the turret here uh he's gonna have to heal up and again i believe they're just gonna hide and we have a hard time going into that grass uh so we're gonna skip here and here we go we skip to basically when the smoke is about to come in as you can see literally nothing happened since then and uh is livy hits two beautiful shots onto chino i'm not even sure if he had bags at this point it should be a pretty easy round win for the team and we get that round win thanks to some nice snipes from his livy and there we go all right now we're are you in game two and this is a decent amount inside the game the smoke is coming in soon and like i said this happens so much in knockout which is kind of unfortunate this is one of those maps that seems to happen more often but uh, either way here you can see the smoke coming and they're forced to make a play right about now zuan's gonna go in tyrant is gonna kill both with the help of zuan i think zuan took most of their ammo so it made it really easy for tyrant we get that win very very fast and we are now one win away from locking in and moving on to the semi-finals of the monthly final all right, here we go back into the action and you can see it's starting to get a little bit intense. Shots are being fired. Everyone's going for some shots. Is Livy actually goes really, really low here. Gets a little bit threatening. So Zuan pops the turret to try to heal. He also pops the gadget to stop them from healing. Zul Tyrant goes in, unfortunately doesn't get a kill. Is Livy hits a beautiful snipe, jumps, and it was actually so close. I don't know if you saw, I believe Zuan almost got his gadget off. I'm just going to replay it one more time because it happens so, so fast. I believe right here he pops the gadget, doesn't get the shot off. If he does, I think we could win that round very very close nicely played from cmg to clutch that up and they just need one more to even out this one all right again skipping forward and at this point it's getting a little bit close patchy gets a very nice play here onto uh is livy and tyrant is forced to go in as well as zuan to protect his livy and it gets 
really dicey. Now, luckily we escaped that and we are now in a 2v or 2v2 scenario. And I actually think this benefits us because Patchy is the most threatening player on their team. When he rolls in, it takes a lot to kill him. And so at this point, I think we win as long as Tyrant does get his super before the smoke comes in, which you can see he's desperately trying to get. Now, another thing to note, which we kind of messed up is that is Livy, I believe actually has two gadgets left. And it, this is the last round. So here he should be curving right about now, anytime now, get them low and make it easy for Tyrant to go in. Unfortunately, Tyrant is going to just miss. He does get the kill onto Toast thanks to the smoke. His Livy is going to just miss the one shot. It was a beautiful attempt from him. And Chino's gonna clutch that up and even out one to one in knockout. All right, hopping into game three on knockout. Now is Livy is gonna get trapped here. A little bit in a bad spot. Toast hit some nice shots and Patchy was there ready to roll. Now, unfortunately at this point, the 2v3 scenario, this one is very tough to win. And because of the fact that they still have Daryl alive, if it was somebody else, let's say if they had, you know, different brawlers here, it might be easier to win. But with only Pam and Fang, they need, and without any supers, it's pretty tough. As Tyrant gets tapped up and marked, we know this one's bout chalk. We're just trying to charge supers at this point. There's no way we really win it. You can see Zuan's just trying to get super. It doesn't matter if they do or not. They already had it basically. So now they are on match point. They just need one more win to knock us out of the quarterfinals, which is something that hasn't done, hasn't happened in a very long time and hopefully doesn't happen. Uh, but either way, we switch sides. We do get shot a couple times and it's a little bit dicey walking up the map. As you can see, they're in a pretty tough spot or we're in a pretty tough spot. And uh, I believe everything just backs off. They go heal. Like I said, they go heal. Nothing happens. And here we go. This is the exciting part that I'm talking about. As soon as stuff goes down, Chino's going to use bags. Zulon's going to use his turret pretty early. He's going to get pinched here very, very hard, trying to stay his alive the best he possible. He hits a beautiful shot onto Toast, basically stalling for a very long time. Tyrant's going to go in. His Livy hits so many shots and Tyrant technically still had super ready to go. So I think we probably would have won that round anyway, but man, that was some nice shots from his Livy to keep us alive. And we do win the 2v3. All right, here is the last and deciding moment of the game. No matter what happens here, one team will walk away with it. The smoke is coming in. Curves are going out. Here is a beautiful gadget from Zuan. I believe he took so much ammo from everybody. Tyrant goes in and they get wiped. And honestly, all because of one Pam's gadget and we win. And there you go, guys. We win the quarterfinal match versus CMG. One of the closest series we've had all year. So GG's to them. Super well played. Honestly, could have gone either way. But that means we're going to go on to the semis versus Vatra. And you may know the result already, but let me know if you want me to go over those games and I will 100% show them. But either way, if you enjoyed, smash that like button, subscribe because we're close to 30k and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.